Hi Booktube, this is Leo from A Little Book Life and it's almost October and so it's going to be my very first participation in Victober and I'm really excited about it because uh, I love reading uh, classic literature and with classic I don't mean the old classics like uh, the Greek uh, ones but the 19th century so yeah, I'm uh, really excited and I've seen some wonderful videos uh, from other booktubers who presented their TBR for October so since it's uh, Almost the 1st of October, it's high time, I will show you mine. And there are, the Victober is hosted by several booktubers. They are Katie from Books and Things, Ainge from Beyond the Pages, Katie Howe and Lucy the Reader. All channels are of course linked uh, down below, as are also uh, the books that I'm uh, talking about and the movies. I'm planning to do my Victor a little bit different. Um, I will be reading the books of course, but I plan to read also a movie adaptation of each book. And there are several challenges by the booktubers uh, that are hosting this. The first one is Ainge Challenge. Read a book by a Victorian female author and for a bonus one that's new to you. Well, and for that one I have chosen a very well-known one, a very famous one, but I still haven't got around to reading uh, it. And that is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. I have read Jane Eyre by her sister Charlotte Bronte and really really loved it, uh, thought it was magnificent, but this one by her sister, one of her sisters, I haven't read and I know the story of course, because I have seen it many times on, uh, uh, the on, on television, but uh, I've never read it, so that will be the first one and the movie that I will be watching is the 1992 movie by Peter Kosminski starring Juliette Binoche and Ralph, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Fien, Finnis, but you know uh, who it is. So that's the first one. The second prompt is by Kate and that is to reread a Victorian book and I I think I will be skipping this one because uh, it, I, I think I'll, I just don't have the time for it, you know. Uh, these uh, uh, Victorian books are usually so uh, uh, thick and long and I want to read several, so I don't think I'll come around to rereading one. But what I will do is Katie's challenge. The next one, read a Victorian book under 250 pages and or over 500 pages. So for this one I have chosen Dr. Thorne by Anthony Trollope. It is my very first Anthony Trollope uh, novel and I already started reading it in September because of the same reason I just talked about, uh, I'm afraid I just won't have enough time in October to finish uh, all these. So I already started this. Uh, and the movie will be a TV series, uh, an adaptation of Dr. Thorne of uh, 2000 and I think it was 2017, no 2016. Uh, it's uh, directed by Julian Fellows, uh, well known because of his uh, other series, Downton Hall, and it stars Tom Hollander as Dr. Thorne. And I will also read another one over 500 pages, and that is going to be The Pickwick Papers, uh, which I am starting right at the 1st of October. This will be a buddy read with Sarah from Hardcover Hearts, 
Juan from uh, Bookish Islander and uh, Amelia from, uh, she doesn't have a channel, but Amelia Reads is someone who many of us booktubers know because she is a regular commenter on our uh, booktube videos. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to read together with all three of them. The Pickwick Papers by Charles Dickens. And the, the adaptation will be this TV series by Brian Light, Light uh, Hill, starring Nigel Stock as Mr. Pickwick. And then I will also read a book under 250 pages. And for that I chose a late Victorian one, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Last week I watched the movie of 2018, The Happy Prince, about uh, the last uh, weeks and days of Oscar Wilde. A very, very beautiful uh, movie. And yeah, it's high time that I'm going to read uh, a book of this very uh, courageous man, Oscar Wilde. And the adaptation will be the 2009 movie by Oliver Parker, starring Toby Finley and Colin Firth. Then, the fourth challenge is from Lucy, and that is read an underrated Victorian book from the same year as your favorite Victorian classic. Now, my favorite Victorian classic is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens and it's uh, one I've read twice now and it's, it's just absolutely wonderful. It was published in 1850 and also published in 1850 was The String of Pearls, uh, later uh, usually published under the title Sweeney Todd, but the original title was String of Pearls. And of course, uh, Sweeney Todd is rather known, maybe also because of the, the, the movie, but actually the book itself is not uh, well known anymore. And here it says uh, it is written by James Malcolm Reimer, but the fact is we don't know for sure. It is not certain who has written it. It's either uh, this one or Thomas Packett Prest. It may be both of them together. I don't know why on this edition the author is actually mentioned here, but it, I will read that uh, probably in uh, the introduction. So, The String of Pearls, and the adaptation I'm going to watch is Sweeney Todd, uh, a 2007 movie by Tim Burton, starring Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. Yeah, so these were the prompts. Oh, there's one other prompt, uh, reading uh, by Candlelight, but yeah, maybe uh, for five minutes, but no, it, 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 it's, uh, it, I think it's too uh, strenuous uh, for my eyes. But what I, I will do is burn a candle uh, when I'm reading, uh, because usually when I'm reading uh, late at night and I'm still in my living room, there is a candle burning. And finally, I uh, will also be reading and also started this one already, How to Be a Victorian by uh, Ruth Goodman. It's a nice addition, I think, to this list. I'm not a, a, really a reader of nonfiction, but this one seems very uh, interesting uh, to me. And uh, it's about Victorian life, about uh, all kinds of, uh, all facets of life, like uh, medicine, like um, how they dressed, uh, what they ate, even their sexuality and uh, yeah so that's uh, that's going to be very interesting also so that's my victor reed so that's 
quite a huge uh, stack of uh, of movie of books and so that's my TBR for uh, Victober. So that's quite a, a bunch of books, and I'm really looking forward to reading all these. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.